everybody, this is Sean Speaks, and I want to talk today about something that I've entitled The PSYOPs of Power, Examining Systematic Injustices in America, the Future of Financial Technology, and the Implications of AI. As we move toward a future with digital money, artificial intelligent dominated societies, and financial technology, it's essential to understand how psychological processes affect our thoughts and actions. From government propaganda to organized religion, these psychological operations have been used throughout history to control and manipulate the people. Psychological operation, which is PSYOP, is a way for governments, militaries, or the groups to communicate or spread information to change a specific group's feelings, views, attitudes, or behaviors. The goal of a PSYOP is to change how people or groups think feel, or act to reach a specific purpose, such as getting people to back a particular call, believe in a specific God or religion, accept a distinct identity, or make an enemy feel bad about themselves. PSYOPs can take many forms, like lies, rewriting history, spreading false information, or even manipulating social media. They can be used offensively and defensively, often aimed at particular groups or people, most susceptible to the message. Using PSYOPs is controversial because it can be seen as a form of manipulation and a possible violation of the liberty of the target audience. But many governments, armies, organizations see PSYOPs as a vital tool for getting what they want, especially during military operations, times of war, social challenges, or economic stresses. The legacy of slavery and institutional racism in the United States, which still affects black people today, exemplifies how the United States has used PSYOPs. PSYOPs were used to control and manage the people who were kept as slaves in America. This was how slavery kept going for so long. One crucial part of this system was that religion was used to explain why black people had to be slaves. Religion became a type of artificial intelligence. Slave owners used religious teachings to make their slaves believe that God wanted them to be slaves and that they had to follow their masters. A fake story was made about how black people were inferior and less worthy of freedom and basic human rights. This was another psyop. Slavery was one of the first technological advancements in the United States because it offered a source of labor that was important for the growth of the country's agricultural economy. Overall, slavery in the United States was a deeply rooted and complicated set of psychological tricks used to keep power and control over people, even those who seemingly benefited from the trickery. Our forefathers were manipulated mentally and emotionally. This led to a false story that continues to perpetuate even into society today. But then the rise of paper money and banks broke up this system of slavery and made way for the industrial revolution. As the industry grew, the psyops used to control and influence black people became more complex and sneaky. Instead of directly defending slavery, the story or the new prompt became about freedom and opportunity for everyone in America, i.e. the Civil War. This was the start of the American dream, a powerful prompt that has helped to define the country since then. The American dream is an elusive concept, a mirage that promises freedom and opportunity to all, but delivers only to a select few. It is a powerful illusion that keeps people complacent and ignorant of the systematic and systemic injustices plaguing the American society. This PSYOP is not just about race, class, or gender. It affects everyone, regardless of identity. To achieve true fairness and justice, especially in this new AI age, we must confront the ongoing effects of this PSYOP and work towards dismantling oppressive systems that control our thoughts and actions. We need to shift our values and goals towards building a more equitable society for everyone. And this requires a collective effort to break free from the illusions that have kept us in mental chains far too long. We must begin to free our thinking minds. 
The United States of America was founded on the noble ideas of freedom and democracy, but these ideas were marred by the codification of slavery and the mistreatment of a whole group of people based on their skin color. It's like we were a beautiful black rose growing in pure soil with endless growth possibilities. Then our soil became contaminated with toxins that threatened our existence and denied us the opportunity to flourish and grow as necessary. It's like the foundation of our minds is contaminated with toxic psyops that threaten our mental stability and well-being. These psyops perpetuate false self-narratives, social narratives, and reinforces oppressive systems, weakening the core of our self-beliefs and mutual beneficial values. Suppose we don't address the root cause of the contamination and fortify our mental foundation. We risk collapsing under the weight of these psyops and they will only get more cunning in this age of AI, leaving us more vulnerable and more exposed to harm. We must be vigilant and address these toxic ideas to ensure our mental health and social well-being's longevity and stability. We must be relentless in our pursuit to dismantle toxic ideas about ourselves from our own mental thinking and build a society where we don't just survive, but thrive even in this new AI age. We cannot afford to let our guard down and remain ignorant of the technological changes that are happening daily for these ideas can one, perpetuate oppression in ways that could be worse than what our forefathers endured. Two, perpetuate injustices that could rob us permanently from the opportunity to live full and meaningful lives in this country. Only through our collective mental efforts of free minds can we create a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive and animate their dreams, free from the constraints of limiting and harmful ideologies that serve a few while dominating and diminishing and belittling the many. Like a building with a compromised foundation, we must fix the structural problems within our own thinking that allow unserving psyops to persist. But we must also pay attention to the changing landscape of artificial intelligence, financial technology, including the introduction of FedNow and the possibility of central bank digital currencies. We must engage in critical dialogue and advocacy to ensure these changes benefit us all and don't perpetuate further power imbalances. The rise of AI, digital currencies, and financial technologies is already affecting our daily lives, even if we don't know it. And many of us need help understanding what these exponential curves could mean for our future relevance. As the financial system evolves, some will argue in favor of FedNow and CBDCs, claiming that they will increase payment efficiency, provide new financial products, reduce transaction costs, and even benefit marginalized low-income households. On the other hand, opponents of CBDCs will argue that they could destabilize the financial system, erode the effectiveness of the monetary policy in America, pose serious cybersecurity risk, and further erode privacy. The reality is that the old financial system and world order is changing, and a new system is being ushered in. Will we be major players in this system? Or hey everybody, I just wanna take a quick commercial break and invite you to subscribe to my blog at seanspeaks.org. There you can read a lot of my writings that I release and you can also connect with me on the seanspeaks.org site. And that site also connects to my YouTube channel, which I would love for you to subscribe to as well. I also have a site, an Amazon affiliate site called melanatedhaven.com. And there I've curated some Amazon products for you. Definitely go check me out. Now back to the PSYOPs of power.